Well, hello there, people. This is Real Brave Live. Welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about the famous Hulk Hogan and his music career here on Real Brave Live. <laughs> right. My era of pro wrestling was like WWF, D-Generation X, Triple H, uh, Mankind, Undertaker. Well, we have to go to the producer, Brian. How are you doing today? Uh, are, you are uh, definitely a huge wrestling fan. Giant. No, w- when I was when I was a kid, I, I did enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, okay. Andre the Giant. Andre, yes. Okay. Oh, Andre Anybody the Giant. Anybody want the peanut? I, I re- <laughs> it's our new soundboard we're trying out. It's not very versatile. No. So you you were around for the late eighties. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I I was never like a diehard fan, but I I think every kid of a certain age gets into wrestling for a few minutes. Any boy. Did yeah. you did you ever get into it for a little while? Not there? really. No, I, I wasn't a huge fan. No, uh-huh. I played the like the Nintendo game, which did not at all resemble any of these people. Nope. The, the the early Nintendo game, yep. which was, but it was awesome playing that game. I loved it. So I, imagine my surprise, Kevin. I always knew he played, you know, Telecaster guitar. What? Yeah. Hulk Hogan plays Telecaster guitar. Is there a joke here? Yeah. Well, no. Look at his uh, music video for Real American. He's got the the oh goodness the American flag. <laughs> Let's one step at a time. Guitar. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine my delight. Five o'clock this morning. I'm I'm uh, doing my normal stuff. Yep. As you know, you know my normal routine. Yep. Wake up, scream <laughs> <laughs> into the void. Uh, yeah, traveling with him was a treat. <laughs> Five o'clock every night. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll do like a five minute right right after I get my coffee, I get I'll do a five minute. Let's see what the hell happened last night in the world. Like just like just quickly go through some uh, headlines. And this was on news. Google. News. Google. Com. Yeah, the most it was on the right hand side. Source like, for news. <laughs> what is this? All right. So. Um, I used to be a session musician before I was a wrestler. So, uh, while we listen to this, oh, yeah. while we talk about it, why don't we listen to some session Hulk Hogan bass playing? So wait a second. So what you found we, is Hulk Hogan. So there was an album released in Japan in the, looks like the early 80s. So um, it, it looks like this is an album he played bass on. So you, you want to hear a, a song here? All right. So like he used to be a session. This is the thing. So I found an article. Well, he used to be a session musician, and that's where I started down this road of insanity. Right, can I say one thing before then? Yeah, yeah. Professional wrestlers lie for a living. And so I feel like well, uh, everything he says hold on. has to be taken with a hold, grain of salt. Hold on. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that wrestling's not real? Dude, it's totally real. It's 100% real. You, you ever- hear those bodies hitting that canvas ring uh, with a big thud. Yeah, but like exaggeration is part of the game, right? So I, I think Hulk Hogan probably was in a recording studio playing bass once. I don't know if he was a professional like session musician. He, okay. Well, let's hear uh, hear a first on Real Brave Live. I'm sure that we've gotten the rights to this. Um, Absolutely. Through the clearance department, our legal team. Um, and when our I mean clearance, I mean going out of sale department. Uh, let's hear some Hulk Hogan. Oh, Jesus. Wait, wait for the funky bass to kick in. Ooh, that's sweet. I mean, Kevin, this is right up your alley. What are the bass notes that he's playing right now? Ooh. E-G-A. That chops, man. That's it right there. I like that. All right. So if if that is indeed Hulk Hogan. If that is. Are you sure? I mean, I take him at his word. He went on a tangent to talk about how he was a session musician before he was a wrestler. He played bass guitar. He was big pals with Laurel, Lars Ulrich. And he asked me if he wanted to play bass with somebody. We'll get there in a second. But. So what you're saying is... Well, what I'm saying is I, I, I would just take all of this with a grain of salt. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's, that's my general mi- uh, mission statement for this episode. Just like anything Hulk Hogan says in public, take with a grain of salt. So this is... So Hulk- this is years later now. Uh, th- this is from a record called Hulk Hogan and the Wrestling Boot Band. Okay. And um, this has some 
there there is some some female vocals in this as well as some Hulk Hogan vocals and some backing vocals. So you get a whole like melange here of vocals. Let's let's check it out. <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare already. We talked about on an episode recently how much oh I love God. synth stingers. Check out the Paul brother. Wanna <laughs> know? What's up, dude? I love this. Did you say check out what? Check out my pipe guns, baby. Is that pythons. 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 It's twenty-four inch pythons. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, okay. What okay, do you want to do? So, uh, very famously, Hulk Hogan uh, talked about his twenty-four inch pythons, referring to his arms. His biceps, I believe, particularly. His biceps. He was yep. saying his arms are, are pythons. <laughs> so I went out and I bought this <laughs> measuring tape. And I'm now going to uh, text our executive producer Chelsea. Yeah. To come out and measure our which pythons. she's thrilled about. She, when it was uh, when we hired her, we were like, "Listen, there's probably a time where you're gonna have to measure our." She uh, volunteered. She vol- <laughs> she volunteered for this gig. Not according to her. No, but for, well, for today. <laughs> according to her, no, yeah, she was voluntold way back then. Yeah, <laughs> she was definitely voluntold yeah, because yeah. nobody in their right mind would ever want to do this. Right. Hi. <laughs> right. What's up, everybody? Sounds about right. We were like. Um, I looked out in the hallway and then we're because uh, we didn't have an executive producer um, at all, and uh, Brian was walking to the bathroom. Um, yeah. Ironically, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's ironic, but okay. <laughs> because this is crap. Well, I mean, Chelsea's here. Uh, Chelsea just lumbering towards us, knowing the fate that she has of right, measuring so who- the sixteen-inch guns that Kevin has. Who- who's going first, Kev? Uh, I guess I'll go first. Yeah. Okay. Come on, it's a family you, show. Do you, know, do you know? By the way, do you know that when Arnold Schwarzenegger was at his swollest, he couldn't feed himself because his because his arms his arms his biceps were too big. Yeah. So someone else had to feed him because he couldn't bring a fork to his mouth. He's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. Oh, now he's flexing. Of course, you gotta flex, dude. Don't Bro. fart though. Bro, <laughs> please fart. What? Fifteen inch, and, uh, fifteen inch pythons, brother. All right, all right. Am I next? The Dan's next. Yeah, Dan's next. Okay, we are measuring our biceps for some god Science. ungodly reason. Because Hulk Hogan would would brag about his twenty four okay. inch pythons. So, um, also I, yeah, <laughs> uh, the show is about music. You yeah, Hulk Hogan's a bass player. I looked up keywords and, then, and one of them was twenty four inch python. Um, just while we're talking about it, do you yeah. think brother with a hard R has a uh, white nationalist connotation? <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna get Brian. Too. Brian, I, I, I'm cool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, Come on, part of this thing. Come on, yeah, you're, you're, you're going down you're with the ship. Um, this is also from that. Th- sorry, I gotta flex here. Hey, let me hit play for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. The big winner. Guns. Oh God. 17 inch pythons, brother. Thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> I thought that that like that new nanu nanu sounds like Jamie's crying. Like right before the chorus of Jamie's crying, it kind of sounds like that. So holy cow! Are they ripping off Van Halen? That's I don't know. Too much. I don't know. It's too much. So anyway, uh, so we've established that he might have been a um, session player. Uh, he definitely, he definitely was is on some records, but that's as Hulk Hogan. That's not as like Terry the bass player. But we you know? we don't have anything. There's got to be something out there that says that he played bass on it. There's got to be something. On on what? Uh, or is was he just a player? No, he was just a player. He wouldn't be listed on the copyright. 
Right, and, and, and I'm, I'm guessing that, I think he grew up in Florida, I was reading this morning, because I was trying to do some research for this show, believe it Sounds or not. Sounds about right. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I want to say, like, if he's in a, in a Tallahassee recording studio, I don't know if they're putting the credits for the stuff he was playing on. Like, it might have been local commercials, it might have been demos for, you know, Joe Fatangweek or whoever. I, I, don't, I don't know who these people were, so. Uh, directly from the wiki, the Hulk Hogan wiki, because we all know that's the place you go. Right. Yep. Um, he was also a musician, spending a decade playing fretless bass guitar. Hulkopedia, fretless? brother. <laughs> <laughs> we can't, we can't. Fretless bass guitar? <laughs> In several Florida-based rock bands. He went on to study at a community college and University of South Florida. Wow. Um, after music gigs began to get away... And after music gigs began to get in the way of his time in college, he dropped out of University of South Florida. And um, eventually, Hogan and two local musicians uh, formed a band called Ruckus, Ruckus in 1976. We tried to find Ruckus before the show. We could not find any Ruckus uh, recordings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hogan worked out at Hector's Gym in the Bay Area. I'm crying. I can't even help it. Uh, and he began lifting, and then the rest is history. He's got two albums that we know about. He's got the uh, the, the Hulk. Hulkamania, the the rest the, the pro- wrestling boot band, the wrestling boot band, and then the one that he released in Japan, right? Which was all that funky stuff we were just. That's crazy! To. Yeah, wow. Th- I know in Japan there's a there's a long history of celebrities like releasing albums, but I, a lot of times it's session musicians. The celebrity comes in for like an hour and does little parts of it, so th- th- that could be the situation. There is too. a video of Hulk Hogan uh, at a at a jam session or at Diamondback. What's his name? Diamondback something or other. Um, and he h- takes a bass and hops on stage, and he's playing along with the band on Johnny B. Good. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, admittedly not. Maybe we should post that on our uh, something. Super difficult yeah. song, but yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It's out there. Uh, now, Dan, the reason we're here is because Hulk Hogan claims he auditioned yeah, for yeah. a very famous band. What what band is that? So, Fish. according to three different articles that um, I was <laughs> reading this morning, uh... He claims that he uh, was asked by drummer Lars Ulrich to become Metallica's bassist. Now, does he say when this was? Uh, well, he claimed that he at one point it was a serious candidate to play bass for the iconic band. Um, he was pals with, <laughs> with Lars, and he asked me if I want to play bass with Metallica in the early days, but it didn't work so out. So pre-Cliff Burton. Pre-Cliff. Okay. Yeah, of course. But it doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> He's in Florida, Florida. Learning, learning to be a professional wrestler. Metallica's in the Bay Area doing metal. So I don't know. soon after, during an appearance on the Howard Stern show, good Howard, I love it, um, or- Ulrich claimed to have no recollection of asking Hulk <laughs> to join the band. Uh, that one, when the when that showed up uh, two or three months, because it's, it's a thing that's circling online. Uh, it circulated uh, around two or three months ago. I was tra- scratching my head over that one. I don't know Hulk Hogan. I don't know <laughs> enough about him. I don't even I'm not know a huge guy. wrestling fan. <laughs> 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 and I certainly have no recollection of doing anything with, quote, Hulk Hogan, end quote. Right, right. So, and then he um, Hogan goes on to say, the rumor has been turned and twisted and thrown in so many different directions that I auditioned and I lied and I never auditioned and I was never interested, Hogan says. The truth is I played music for many years before I ever got into wrestling and when I heard Metallica was looking for a bass player, I would have quit wrestling like that to get into Metallica. And I think what actually happened was his agent reached out to Metallica and nothing came of it. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Can you imagine Hulk Hogan and Metallica? Hulk Talica. <laughs> Hulk I can't. I mean, it's it's too much for me, and that's why I, I want to talk about brother. That. <laughs> <laughs> um, instead, of, <laughs> instead of master, <laughs> brother, brother, <laughs> brother of puppets. <laughs> he goes on to say, when I heard they were looking for a bass player, I got all my tapes together from an old man. I got a couple of tapes together that Simon Cowell produced with me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, he's he. He's just lying. None Dude, of this is true. Dude, there's no way. No, that is true. I looked that up. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy smokes. Wait, um, wait. So, Kevin, so Simon Cowell produced this, like, in the early 80s? Yeah, this is okay. not. Okay. Yeah, How is old is Simon Cowell? He's in his 60s, I believe. Holy jeez. Yeah. Um, and then he put he put tapes together and sent it, but they never heard back. Mm. Basically, that's it goes on and on and on. Personally... This is my favorite topic so far. I can't believe that I stumbled across this. This is something I hold very dear and and close to my heart. And part of part of what I really hold near and dear is Brian's cackling yes. while he's set up today listening to <laughs> <laughs> oh, You guys have no I was just 
when he goes, "What's up, dude?" In that one song, I just I lost it. I absolutely lost this. I like, I, and I'm 25 feet away or so, but just I, him, he was cracking up, and we're all laughing. And it's all good. And Hulk Hogan, friend of the show, thank you so much. <laughs> Hulk, if you want to come on the show, <laughs> email us. We would love to have you on to talk about music. Yeah, yeah, love yeah. it's too much. Brother. It's too much. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, but if you want to check out more, please check us out at Real Brave Inc. Uh, you can also check us out on other socials, Instagram at Real Brave Audio, and the rest are at Real Brave Inc. Check us out. We'll see you here next time. Here on.